I have the Redmi Note 12 from Xiaomi right here. And today I wanna to show you the entire process of how we can unlock the bootloader of this device. Unlocking the bootloader is one of the first things that I do with a new smartphone as it allows me to manually flash the firmware from the computer. This can be incredibly useful in those times when the phone ends up in a boot loop or if we end up installing something that isn't compatible with the device. It's also a great way to return the Redmi Note 12 back to its original MIUI firmware. This official process requires us to have a free account with Xiaomi. It is dependent on us having an active mobile data account and will also take hours or even days of waiting since we first need to request bootloader unlock access before it's actually allowed to be unlocked. The average wait time that I see for this process is around 15 days but that could be more or less depending on how many boot loader unlock requests that you've sent in. We'll be told how many hours we need to wait whenever we complete the first half of our boot loader unlock request. We are also going to need to download the Xiaomi Mi Unlock tool for this request to be sent in and I'll be including a download link to this program in the video description below. So go ahead and get your SIM card ready. Download the required tools if you haven't done so already. And let's begin the bootloader unlock process on this Redmi Note 12. And just so you are aware, this process is also going to work with the other variants in this series. So this tutor tutorial will work on the Redmi Note 12, the Redmi Note 12 Pro, the Redmi Note 12 Pro Plus, and the Redmi Note 12 Discovery Edition. When you're ready to begin, we're going to need to enable developer mode on this smartphone. Now I have already done a tutorial showing how to enable this hidden developer options menu for Xiaomi MIUI devices. So instead of making this video longer than it needs to be, I'll go ahead and include a direct link to that video down in the description as well. Once you have enabled developer mode, we can go into the additional settings section of the settings application and find the newly created developer options menu. We're then going to need to enable the OEM unlocking toggle, which can be done and then confirmed that we indeed do want to enable the OEM unlocking toggle. Now we need to go and log in to your Xiaomi Mi account, which can be done at the top of the settings app here. If you don't already have an account with Xiaomi, again, I'll include a link in the video description that takes you right to their sign up page. This is the same account that you need to log in on the phone and you cannot unlock the bootloader until you are signed in here. Our next step is to insert our SIM card into the device. Again, this is required because Xiaomi wants a mobile data connection in order to allow the bootloader to be unlocked. This is part of their security protocol, which they believe helps reduce the number of resellers that end up exporting their hardware to various countries around the world. 
After the SIM card has been inserted, it may take a few minutes before the mobile data connection has been made. There's no rush here. Just wait for the phone to negotiate a connection with your local cellular tower, and then we can proceed. We also need to disable Wi-Fi before the bootloader unlock request is sent in. So let's go ahead and do that now. Once that has been disabled, we then need to go back to the hidden developer options menu. Scroll down a little bit and then select the me unlock status option. Just a little tip, if you're having trouble connecting to your mobile data plan, you may need to manually add the APN settings to your device. You'll need to do a Google search for the APN settings for your mobile carrier to find out those exact settings. When you're ready, we're going to tap the Me Unlock Status option here. And you may get a prompt that appears here asking for a permission request. If you do see that, go ahead and grant that permission. You may want to read through this, but I'm going to be going through all of this in the video here. So whenever you're ready, we're going to go ahead and tap the add account and device button here. We're going to be looking for a success message that appears right there in the pop-up message. If you end up getting an error about being unable to connect to the server, then we're just going to, again, wait until you have a solid connection to your mobile data network and then tap the add account and device option again. Once we're told that the account has been added successfully, we then need to boot the Xiaomi Redmi Note 12 into fast boot mode. This is something that I've already shown you how to do in a separate video. So I'll link to that down in the video description for anyone who needs a step-by-step -step guide on this process. With the Redmi Note 12 Pro in fast boot mode, let's connect it to the PC with a USB cable and then open up the Xiaomi Mi Unlock Tool program on the desktop or laptop computer. When you open up the Mi Unlock program, if you get a prompt about installing the latest version, be sure to download it extract the contents of that download, close out the older version, and then open up the latest version of the Me Unlock tool. So once we get here, we're going to click on Agree, and then it's gonna ask us to sign in to your Me account. And this needs to be the same account we logged into on the smartphone. So after you log into your account, you're likely going to need to verify that you own the phone number associated with your Mi account. So it's going to attempt to send an SMS verification text. I was having issues with this two days ago as I hit the verification text send limit because I was not getting those text messages. After doing some research, I noticed that a lot of people are getting this issue. I was unable to find a direct fix, but after waiting a day or two, I tried again. And on the first try, it sent that SMS text instantly. So if you're running into that issue, all I can recommend right now is that you wait and try again on a later day. 
hopefully whenever Xiaomi gets their server back up and running. So remember, we have our Redmi Note 12 in fast boot mode. It is connected to the PC with a USB cable. And now we're going to click the unlock button right here. You're going to get this one pop up right here. We're going to confirm by clicking unlock anyway. And this pop up is going to appear again because Xiaomi really wants to emphasize the malware potential of unlocking the bootloader. So we're just going to click on unlock anyway again. And we're going to see this number go from 0% all the way up to 100%. Now, as I said before, we're going to be told how many hours we have to wait before we can actually unlock the bootloader. Remember, this is just sending in a bootloader unlock request. So now we need to wait 121 hours before booting our Xiaomi Redmi Note 12 back into fast boot mode, connecting it back to the PC and opening up this Me Unlock program, logging into the account, and clicking that unlock button again. As long as we have waited more than 121 hours, the second time that we press that unlock button and confirm, when it goes from 0% to 100%, instead of getting the couldn't unlock message, you will instead be told that the unlock is successful and you'll get two or three green check marks right here. You are able to take the SIM card back out of the phone now and use it in another phone if you'd like. You are able to reboot the phone and use it how you want. Just make sure that you do not add your account in MIUI again. Otherwise, we're going to have to wait the 121 hours all over again. So from here, I have unplugged the USB cable from our Redmi Note 12, and we can reboot out of fast boot mode by pressing and holding the power button down for about seven to 10 seconds. Once you see that screen go black, you can let go of the power button and it should boot us back into Android like normal. So I'm going to set a timer on this phone to go off after 122 hours, just so now I know that I have safely waited more than 121 hours. And then once that alarm goes off, then I'll go through, boot the phone back into fast boot mode and go through that me unlock process to actually unlock the bootloader then.